everyone. Welcome to Seacliff Storytime in, yes, Martha's Vineyard. And the story we have today is Rosie Revere, Engineer. Thank you, Molly, for lending this book to us. This is the story of Rosie Revere, who dreamed of becoming a great engineer. In Lila Greer's classroom at Blue River Creek, young Rosie sat shyly, not daring to speak. But when no one saw her, she peeked in the trash for treasures to add to her engineer's stash. And late, late at night, Rosie rolled up her sleeves and built in her hideaway under the eaves. Alone in her attic, the moon high above, dear Rosie made gadgets and gizmos she loved. And when she grew sleepy, she hid her machines far under the bed where they'd never be seen. Well, when Rosie was young, she had not been so shy. She worked with her hair swooping over one eye and she made fine inventions for uncles and aunts, a hot dog dispenser and helium pants. The uncle she loved most was zookeeper Fred. She made him a hat to keep snakes off his head. And they were from parts of a fan and some cheddar cheese spray, which everyone knows keeps the pythons away. And when it was finished, young Rosie was proud, but Fred slapped his knee and he chuckled aloud. He laughed till he wheezed and his eyes filled with tears, all to the horror of Rosie Revere, who stood there embarrassed, perplexed, and dismayed. She looked at the cheese hat and then looked away. I love it, Fred hooted. Oh, truly, I do. But Rosie Revere knew that that could not be true. She stuck the cheese hat on the back of her shelf and after that day, kept her dream to herself. And that's how it went until one autumn day, her oldest relation showed up to stay. Her great, great Aunt Rose was a true dynamo who worked building airplanes a long time ago. She told Rosie tales of the things she had done and the goals that she checked off her list one by one. She gave a sad smile as she looked to the sky. The only thrill left on my list is to fly. Ah, oh, but time never lingers as long as it seems. I'll chalk that one up to an old lady's dreams. That night as Rosie lay wide awake in bed, a daring idea crept into her head. Could she build a gizmo to help her aunt fly? She looked at the cheese head and said, no, not. But questions are tricky and some hold on tight. And this one kept Rosie awake through the night. So when dawn approached and the red streaks lit the sky, young Rosie knew just how to make her aunt fly. She worked and she worked till the day was half gone. She hauled her cheese copter out onto the lawn to give her invention a test just to see the ridiculous flop it might turn out to be. Oh, strapped in the cockpit, she flipped on the switch. Oh, the Helio cheese copter sputted and twitched. It floated a moment, it whirled round and round, and then it froze for a heartbeat and crashed to the ground. Then Rosie heard laughter and turned around. The old woman was laughing and slapping her knee. She laughed till she wheezed and her eyes filled with tears all to the horror of Rosie Revere. She thought, oh no, never ever again. I'm never gonna try to build something to sputter or spin or build with a fever, a switch or a gear and never will I be a great engineer. She turned around to leave, but then great, great Aunt Rose grabbed a hold of young Rosie and pulled her up close, hugged her and kissed her and started to cry. You did it, hurrah! It's the perfect first try. This great flop is over. It's time for the next. Young Rosie was baffled, embarrassed, perplexed. I failed, said dear Rosie. It's just made of trash. Didn't you see it? The cheese copter crashed. Yes, said her great aunt, it crashed. That is true. 
but first it did just what it needed to do. Before it crashed, Rosie, before that, it flew. Your brilliant first flop was a raging success. Come on, let's get busy and go on to the next. She handed a notebook to Rosie Revere, who smiled at her aunt, and it all became clear. Life might have its failures, but this was not it. The only true failure can come if you quit. They worked till the sun sneaked away to its bed. Aunt Rosie tied her headscarf around Rosie's head and sent her to sleep with a smile ear to ear to dream the bold dreams of a great engineer. At Blue River Creek, all the kids in grade two build gizmos and gadgets and Dickie who's two. And with each perfect failure, they all stand and cheer, but none quite as proudly as Rosie Revere. And that's the end of the story of Rosie Revere, engineer. I love, love, love that story. So let's look at our birthday book today, right? I think it is Suzanne, a friend of ours, Suzanne. We haven't seen Suzanne in a long time, but we're going to sing happy birthday to her. But first, let's check out, let's check out uh, what kind of cake Suzanne is going to get. Our vanilla people are Annabelle and Joseph and Molly and Alice and Martha and Clara, yes, and Kira too. Uh, I think we have Marlo and, oh no, I can't read that. Oh, India, Marlo and India. Chocolate, we have Ben and B and Bevy and Henry, Graham and Audrey and Lila, Melissa, Jackson, Miles, Sophia. Yes, all right, let me count them now. 14, 14 chocolate, whoa. Let's look at our vanilla. And eight, eight vanilla. Very, very chocolate cake. All right, Suzanne, I think I remember that you did like chocolate. So let's sing, let's sing to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Suzanne. Happy birthday to you. All right, thank you, cameraman Dan. And remember, I love you all very, very much. Thank you.